ahead and start recording and let people know that. Hi, I'm back. I just ran some ads and uh, <laughs> someone in chat said they got an ad that involved this frog is telling me to suck its dick. Like, comma, what? So... That's real, apparently. <laughs> Buy more of our fine products. Ah, uh, Mountain Dew. Frog suck. <laughs> oh, man. I don't control the ads, folks. But if I did, I'll be real. That probably... Whatever, though. <laughs> Actually, it would probably be nothing but Cold Stone Mountain... Actually, that was Mountain Dew, so okay. Yeah, no, probably. Mountain Dew, and Welcome then also, um... Oh, shit! Dude, we got to the next mission. Do you see the difference? First of all, the ice cream is different flavors. Thank you. More importantly, Big Benjamin. Large oh. Ben. Large Benny. Move it up. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, Good Eiffel job. Tower, you've been replaced by the huge Benjamin. Nice. Good job. Thank you. I'm not even going to do a fake English accent because I've talked to English people and their accents are nowhere near as extreme as anyone who's ever done a movie has ever made. <laughs> Bill Paxton doing an English accent. Oh, God. Bill Paxton doing an English accent? Um, okay, okay. Well done. Thank you. Gotta get that big bang. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even do it. <laughs> Hip hip cheerio. <laughs> God, now it's just turning into like some strange Nick Cage amalgamation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of like Bill Paxton from Twister and Nick Cage from, um, oh, Con Air. Somehow just blurring together into one horribly bad acting compilation. <laughs> Nick Cage from Nick Cage. What was that movie we watched recently? Um, well done. Oh god, it was the mo it was like the most cagey movie other than. I still well think nice. Face Off takes it, takes the record for like most Nick Cagey nice. film. Thank you. Just because uh, Face Off has, it doesn't just have Nick Cage as a thing. Like if it just had Nick Cage, it would be pretty good nice. but it has nick well, cage and then it also you. has john travolta pretending to be nick cage <laughs> it's a recipe for success oh yeah snake eyes that was the movie snake eyes that's right well done. Nice. oh god bad lieutenant there's another nick cage oh bad lieutenant's one um the only nick cage movie i watched that i think is so boring that i couldn't recommend it um, even with like Nick Cage being a goofball in it, was it was like season of the witch? Oh yeah, but Face Off. I'm sorry, Face Off is the most um, <clears throat> Nick Cagey movie because it not only has Nick Cage, it also has John Travolta acting as Nick Cage. Thank you. So you get Nick Cage and then John Travolta Nick Cage, and then you also get Nick Cage John Travolta, which is also extremely good but yeah season of the witch was like unwatchably boring as a bad acting enthusiast i actually really do like bad lieutenant <laughs> not just for it's a bad movie reasons i don't know i i enjoy it a bit i didn't even see that one season of the witch it's really bad God, the other Wait, one how did you, I what? How did you miss? What You're just mean? dumping the candy on a belt. How what you have what to can put you miss it about on it? the lit up spots of the belt, you idiot. Oh, of course I'm not I'm not familiar with Coldstone Protocol. This is why you don't fucking work at Coldstone. <laughs> I can never make it, I can never hack it. Fort Jester. You won't even be able to see Oh my god! Me. Did that kid just explode into sweets? Yeah, I hit him in the mouth with one, and then he died. Local oh child God. destroyed by man wielding candies from an ice cream shop. Nice. Well done. Thank you. And that kid, that kid, that kid, the kid had a 30 second nice. time extension. Oh, Bill, nice to see you. And so does his grandma. I 
I have some trouble with candy deployment on occasion. Thank you. Because I want to deploy this shitty candy because I need it out of my shop so I can get more time well extends. Andy, I'm not far. Oh, around. you. With you can't just like throw it on the road and have it explode into like into fragments or something. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Work. You can't throw fragmentation candy. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Nice little candy caltrops. Come on, Grandma, take the candy. Oh, this is my shot in the dark here. Someone wants that. Nope. Okay. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Want this job. Can I get like pistachio, but not in a cone or a bowl or anything? I just want it directly into my hand. Can you just is that allowed? Can you just scoop your ice cream into my hands? Just I'll walk out with it. It's cool. Do you need a bowl? No. Do you want a waffle bowl or a waffle cone? No. 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 I want none of these things. I desire direct toppings! Direct ice cream! <laughs> Render <laughs> Just unto set, Caesar! <laughs> send me up under the mix and shoot. I'll handle the rest. <laughs> Please, put me onto the... <laughs> Put me onto the sprinkler conveyor belt and just cover me. Just fuck me up. <laughs> Shake the sprinkles <laughs> all over me, Aquerpo. Crumbled Oreos! <laughs> Give me the fruit slicer. No, don't worry. The knife doesn't hurt me if I'm covered in fruit. <laughs> don't give me the maraschino cherries, though. I hate those. God, same. I agree with this creepy man on one thing, and it's maraschino cherries. I can like hear creepy fiction. They couldn't land. hack it as a regular cherry, so they had to cover them in shit and call them something else. Oh god, Maritian cherry. Garbage. I had people request those when I was a bartender. They're like, are they maraschino cherries? I'm like, yeah, they're like, good. I'm like, are, are you sure? Like, <laughs> you're like, sure that that's... That's the hill you want to die on? The maraschino... <laughs> that's... That's your thing, huh? Nice. It's, it's yours. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell your business, but man. Nice. Well done. I only want my cherries one way. What is that? Gross. <laughs> can I get, can I get my cherries bleached and then soaked in a suspension of food coloring? Here at De Here in Chat, we have De Here in Chat Good Boy, a new ice cream serving solution. <laughs> De Here in Chat would totally make maraschino cherries too. <laughs> To hear in chat's maraschino cherry solution. First of all, we put all the maraschino cherries on a conveyor belt because, um, yeah, well, that's just our thing, you know. That's how we do. Just like a lovingly detailed 3D render of maraschino cherries spraying out of a hose and completely breaking down a car or something. God, I really do think that's like my favorite part about all the to hear in chat. Also, I hit that person with two candies, so they're like in another game at this point. Um,. <laughs> God, I love the conveyor belts. I love my favorite part of the drive-through market. Which, by the way, if you haven't been watching the Dahir in chat videos on Rats of Prey and you're watching this, like, just so you know, you should watch those at some point because they're really good. Um, the thing that kills me about that, about all the Dahir in chat in general, with the drive market though, is that they show it not working in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they show it just spraying the shit all over creation. Like, they're like, yeah, no, we have this big conveyor belt. Okay, what's that conveyor belt do? Well, you take these pre-sorted trays, and you just dump them out all over the conveyor belt. Well, wait, don't you want to, like... Just throw them there. It's like, don't you want to, like, leave them in trays? No. What? Make someone else sort them. But they already were sorted. They're here in chat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll build another machine to do that. Later on. Nice. At the here in chat, we have a cold stone creamery insert for your hell bed. <laughs> Enjoy. Nice. Thank you. Ah, I fell into the apocalypse. Good thing I landed in a bed of well freshly done. rolled Good cold job. stone nice. creamery. Well nice. I really, I, it's really hurting me that I can't spoil the final, like the final one we did. 
of the here in chat of like the ones that we've done so far and I don't know if we're gonna do more because the la there's one I will say it involves military technology and there's no narration in the video and it just doesn't it just <laughs> doesn't need it it's so perfect Cream, fuck it all. Well done. <laughs> Good job. I call this next bit Thank Reaper you. works at Cold Stone Creamery. Well done. Uh, it's like blood. It's <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> also, I can't believe well in this basic ass universe, and no one wants more than one topic. Yep. I was gonna say, like, can you multi get some multi tops going on here? Or no. No. What? The what is this? Nobody ever has just one mixin. I'm sorry, but no. Yeah, the one I'm talking about hasn't aired yet, and I can't wait. No, only one topping. Final destination. No items. Just one top. God. The fox of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, the, f the fucking Smash Bros. melee competitive scene of ice cream. It's here at Cold Stone. Guess who's out of shit to buy in the store? Can I just buy Coldstone now? Can I buy someone else to work and do it for me? <laughs> Coldstone Screamery! Scoop it up! Scoop it. Scoop it up, Coldstone. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Scoop it up, dude. Left hand, right hand. You know, again, it's like one of those things where I'm like, you know, for how fucked up all this is and for how stupid and terrible this game is, I do have to do use two Wiimotes, and that does kind of rule. Like, oddly enough, that kind of puts it in its own place on the shovelware mountain. Because, like, it did something that other games nice. didn't, and most nice. games haven't until the HTC Vive. <laughs> like, nice. I can't believe Coldstone Creamery is the spiritual, you know, the original And it's HTC so weird Vive. because, like, so many games for Wii came out, like light gun games that would be perfect for, you know, doubling up on the Wiimotes and just having double pistols or whatever. But that was rarely a thing. It was always, like, two-player mode, and then you had to use the nunchuck for something stupid. Yeah, two emotes. A shocking, like, now that I'm getting used to it, it's kind of like, I'm like, man, I kind of wish more games had done that. Because, like, the aiming, like, the aiming portion of the Wii was actually pretty good. Yeah, like, that's what Resident I'm Evil 4 like, for the Wii was probably the best version that I played. Yeah, like, I thought it was going to be trash at first, because I was like, uh, motion controls my purity, but then I, like, actually tried it for a while, I was like, damn, oh, actually, this kind of works. Actually, mm -hmm. I forced... I forced my roommate, who also played Resident Evil 4 once a year, to play it first. And then he was like, yeah, I'll try motion controls, what the hell? And he loved it. And he was do the thing is, I watched, too, and like I know how good he was, because, again, we played it every year. Um, yeah. And he was doing fantastic with them. Like, shooting shit out of the air, no problem. Like, juggling stuff. I was like, all right. Maybe there's something to Yeah, like, aiming is fantastic. It's just the actual motion bit where you have to, like, use a certain gesture or whatever. That always sucked. That was never great. Until the Motion Plus came out, but unfortunately that was way too late. It was an add-on thing, and so few games supported it. Which is a shame. This is really cool. But hey, at least we got the connect. Yeah. I can't even, I can't even find excitement for that. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry. You will never be able to buy an Xbox without a Kinect. What the? No one wants to buy an Xbox without a Kinect? Okay, wait. We changed our mind. Come back. Oh. Yeah, when I was at GameStop looking at garbage. Um, <laughs> just looking at garbage. How many used Kinects were there? Um, used Kinects? None, but you could get an Xbox, like, one... I think maybe without the Kinect, it was like $270 or something, like less than that used, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Yes, fours are still pretty expensive, though. And that was at GameStop, which is not known for being a good price haver, you know? Yeah. I 
was really glad though that <laughs> it was just really good like everyone else is like you know they go up to GameStop and they're ashamed because they're handing somebody like some weird anime titty game or whatever you know it's like oh hello I would like the new Senrin Kagura and it's just like oh god you're that guy and you know it's really creepy <laughs> And then I'm up there, I'm like, I'll take a cold stone creamery, please. And they're just like, I'm sorry. That's what I Nothing desire. but ice cream and fun for me. <laughs> please, give me the ice creamery. Yes. And they're just like, hey, why are you buying all these shitty Wii games? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> it's me, Ty Tuesday. Give me your bad Wii games. Today, is your day is going to be the very shitty or very titty. Take your pick. <laughs> But yeah, like everyone else is like ashamed of that, or like they're like, oh, I'm an adult and I'm buying, you know, amiibos, which I'm like, yeah, whatever, that's fine. But then <clears> I show up, and I'm like, hello, I would like cold stone cream. <laughs> that's my Did they shame. have to take the disc out from behind the counter? Yup, yup, it was you, so she had to go, like, she had to, like, get down on the ground, too, because it was, like, way in the back and shit. It's like, we, we own this? What? Yeah, like, she kind of, like, looked at it and she was, like, looked at me and then, like, was like, okay, and, like, had to go <laughs> find it. You sure it's not 99 cents for the box? <laughs> Why do we have the Cold Stone Creamery game in stock? <laughs> well, because you know what the Why people is... want. Why is someone buying it? I don't... None of this makes sense. That's really the more confusing part, is you're like, well, you know, we had to buy it because of the thing and the way it works. But then it's just like, wait, someone bought it from us? <laughs> like, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, guys, it's time to replace the good boy with one final, this is going to be our final activity of Cold Stone Creamery. I'm going to go ahead and uh, title this... Ooh, whoa, I have to see if that's a comet. If that's comet, we're making a Sephiroth. That's non-negotiable. Uh, oh, dude. What would be the Sephiroth bowl? Probably the dark chocolate. Uh, and then also yeah. the, ch the chilliest bowl would be that one. Um, I don't think how I could make a Sephiroth out of ice cream. <laughs> Can, can we do, like, the black materia as a mix-in? Is that allowed? I'm looking into it. <laughs> I'm looking into it, dude. I'm looking into it. Hmm. We only have 15 items to work with, too, is the hard part. What's the most Sephiroth of ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are what are the options? Well, he was light at one point, and then he got corrupted by Genova. <laughs> He's like that one, <laughs> or like this one, which is like chocolate with corn in it, which is weird. <laughs> or, or this one that's just like uh like an orb that's like Genova colored. Yeah, it's like the life stream. Like the Final Fantasy VII logo, but instead of the meteor, it's just a little ball of ice cream. <laughs> Someone make that, please. Okay, one sec. I have to go to the custom creation here. So we have the good boy. One sec, it's loading the good boy. It takes a, <laughs> it takes a lot of processing power to load the good boy. Understandable. The worst part is you can't resize things. So, so, what is the Final Fantasy? Because I don't have words is the thing, too. So, it's really hard to make that happen. Okay. Mm, I wish there was another, like, person-shaped thing I could use. I really need a sword of some form. Is there anything I could have used as a sword? I will use the uh, primary flag. Yeah, like the longest object you can find. Can you rotate them at all, or is it you fixed can. or whatever? I, I can. Oh! I can. I can rotate it. That's a good point. This could work. Yeah, so this is Sephiroth falling and impaling Eris. 
It was now tilted over. <laughs> Here we go. Here he goes. I call this Requiem for a Cream. <laughs> <laughs> this is really hard to believe. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, um, yeah, there's that, um, we need the white materia kind of popping out of her. Red. So, here's the white materia over here falling away from Aerith. Aerith, I'm sorry. Don't want to be disrespectful. Um, uh, this is the Final Fantasy logo, of course, the meteor. It's a little, it's almost a little off camera. Right, pretty far. Uh, we do need a stage. <laughs> For our play. So, um... <laughs> it's all in a bowl, by the way. <laughs> this is you can serve this. Yeah, just like the pool that uh that they buried Eris in. Oh you're right. Oh wow, that's really good then. Here comes Sephiroth falling down into the dish. <laughs> and the dark materia represents Sephiroth. It's it's a little large, but you know you get the idea. Um, no, no, I, I this is I'm getting this for real. This, this is, is really good. Just like Final Fantasy. <laughs> mm hmm One sec. Let me put let me put the front behind. I feel like it's obscuring the action. There we go. Just like Final Fantasy. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Uh, the waffle nachos in the sky. Those are... Waffle nachos? Waffle nachos? Yeah, they... They actually don't represent anything. They're just sky nachos. <laughs> just <laughs> just kind of hungry. Yeah, they're just kind of there. <laughs> um... Oh, there wasn't really a Temple of the Ancients appropriate background, so I'm gonna go with... Coldstone Creamery. <laughs> <laughs> and oh yeah no there's the meteor just like Final Fantasy yeah just like Final Fantasy <laughs> here's the HD remake here you go buddy enjoy I call this one FF7 okay Oh, a Final Fantasy 13 ice cream? Um, that would just be called, uh...